Uh, let's go to Leanne Cusack now, who's with Steve Barkhouse in studio with some design inspiration. Leanne? And you're being pretty modest. You did win the Bell Pickleball <laughs> Championship, Matt. Yes, we have Steve Barkhouse, and we're not talking about not ball. We're talking about budgets, and they're tighter than ever. But that doesn't mean you can't do a few things to make a major impact. Steve Barkhouse is all about the impact, and today we are talking tile, yeah. but you always bring a room along to show the inspiration. It's so nice to have you in the studio with us well, again. Well, thank you. It's great to be back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we brought a room along just to show some small uh, renovations that can make a, a big impact. And that's exactly, I mean, you and I were chatting in the commercial break just about well, what it's like for everyone when yeah. you're budgeting and when you're, you know, going to a site, you have to plan a budget for a job. So yeah, yeah you, you know how everyone's tightening uh, and, and how the prices are changing. So yes. let's look at some images to yeah. tell a story, a blank slate, so to speak, Steve. Yeah, so we got a home in Stittsville, uh, not that old, but it had an asymmetric fireplace you can see here with stucco surround um, and, and really drew the focus of the room there. It was a long, narrow room and it made it even more so with that. Uh, in that left corner, you saw a little closet. The clients had decided to put the TV on wheels and slide it into there, but as life changes and television becomes more popular or needed, <laughs> they wanted to change it up. So there's the after. Whoa. We took it from asymmetrical to uh, making it a more balanced room. They just redid the backyard and it's gorgeous. So we're trying to get the focus over there. Um, some beautiful tile on the fireplace. We got a floating uh, mahogany shelf there. Uh, and then two floating shelves you'll see in the next picture on the side. Oh, we missed it. But uh, anyway, we, we built a little workstation. So to work from home over there, repurposed the old island. So this is the old kitchen. You can see the old island in the middle there. It was oriented the wrong way and again, made that room feel very long and narrow, so dark. So this is all the same space, an yes. open room. So we looked at the fireplace at one end and yes. there is all of that natural light at the other end. And this is the kitchen that you're transforming. That's right, yeah, and you can see how dark it is. And then there it is, boom. Pretty. Um, yeah, isn't that <laughs> nice? So again, just reoriented the table. So just turned it 90 degrees. Made that I feel like a room in that we put two pendant lights in there. You got the banquette chairs, which I love at the table. Um, and then we took the island out, repurposed the top in the workstation. Uh, there's the island there. So now we have room for three because there's a family of three. There was only two before, lots of storage, and that beautiful waterfall finish in the quartz tile or quartz uh, top. You know, Steve, we've had you on, you know, throughout the pandemic talking about how homes have shifted. And uh, with so many people still working from home, you have seen a, a shift in the needs. Absolutely. So we took what it was a small island and made it a big workstation. We took what was a dark kitchen and made it bright. So we used the tile there in the herringbone pattern, just a subway tile put some stainless steel shelves in where there used to be a heavy dark cabinet uh, just to brighten it up, make it fun. So for the do-it-yourselfers, because mm. as much as everyone would love to hire you to do the job, some people are, uh, you know, having to get, get the grout out themselves. Yeah, good for them. How tricky is the herringbone pattern? No, not tricky at all. No, uh, no. The key is just to, to lay it out. I mean, if you're really new, I always put some sticky two-sided tape on the back and put them up on the walls and then pull them down and redo it. it, it then you get the pattern. This so is the, lovely. Yeah, isn't it nice? And then that cabinet was already there on the far right. Uh, it was a, a storage area, and we painted the bottom cabinets white. They used to be the, the wood color, and it just brightens everything up. Um, you can see the pendant lights and that beautiful island. Everything, again, is oriented to the backyard, which has been redone. So, uh, yeah, just a beautiful transformation. And, again, small features. We did a lot of small things in that job, but uh, you can do any one of those and make a big change. And uh, that's not an old home, as you say. It's a, it's a home in Stittsville. Yeah. But it was a really a major update. It, it really was. And, and, again, like you said, we're in our homes more. It was dark. Um, it's now bright and airy and fun to be in. And uh, when you're called for consultation or planning because the big word for you is always planning, planning, planning Fun, as man. you're about to do a <laughs> reno. And uh, whether you're, you hire a professional or you do it yourself, you say plan and budget and <laughs> buy, buy things before, you know, prices skyrocket as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, buy your box of tile and you can always take it back but then have it because too many times we've decided to do a job, pick the tile, uh, and then a month later gone to pick it up and it's sold out and we can't get it first. That's months. been a real challenge. This, it has yeah, been. The supply yeah. chain. We're going to be back and talk more about tiles, some really pretty ideas. Matt, thanks, Steve. Let's go back to Leanne Cusack and Steve Barkhouse now. Leanne? Steve has just made me so optimistic, Matt. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a huge job to tear up some ugly tile, but nope. Now, you've heard of a statement piece of jewelry or an outfit. Steve's going to talk about making a statement with tile, yeah. the trends and the looks and, and some exciting ones. It, having fun with it. Um, 
we were just talking about paint and how you can get any color of paint, but the tiles are the same thing. We can not only get any color, but we can get any texture. We've got some classic subway tiles here that we can look at that have the texture um, right on them as opposed to the flat ones that we have. You can take that subway tile, you can get any color in the rainbow, and then we can orient them, whether it's a half, a, a one-third separation, We've also got... Or the herringbone one that you showed earlier. One. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I can't or do that. Or this <laughs> honeycomb, honeycomb one all for the floor or for a backsplash. Yeah, yeah, and we're getting retro lines in the tiles now so that you can really play around with those. Uh, we can spin those around and be, make it a, a starburst or a flower, however you want to imagine that. We've got a picture coming up that uh, will show that a little more clearly. Okay, I have to say, we are of the same sort of vintage, and seeing this pink tile does really <laughs> remind me of childhood. Probably the same for you. Yeah, for or sure. avocado tile. I can't that tell you how many bathrooms we've gone in and seen that tile, and yes. it's now back. Oh. <laughs> uh, in a different way, though. Yeah, absolutely. So well, let's different look. style, different size, and different orientation. Let's look at some of these photos. Yeah. And that is the classic subway tile. There you go. There it is Love with it. the gray grout. Um, and that's on the half, uh, uh, that's an elongated tile, but um, yeah, on, on the half. That's never going to go out of style, it, it, though. Well, how it? could it, right? How could it? And, and again, but you can have some fun with it. You can separate it a little bit. You can turn it. Here we go with the herringbone. Um, again, that elongated subway with the herringbone style that we had shown in the other picture. So just a fun, and, and you know, it's not overpowering in the room. Um, there's our starburst that we talked about, so the tiles that we showed, and that's in the starburst or flower pattern in the back, so really brightens up that kitchen and makes it fun and, and, and just a great place to be in. Oh, How about something a little more dramatic? Gorgeous. Yeah, so bold, be bold with tile. Have some fun. Again, we got all of the fixtures now. We can get in black. You can see the black tile on the shower. The very cool tile on the floor and the black cabinets. So the white. black and white's a huge trend for this year. Super, yeah. You'll, we've got some tiles to show there that are just coming out. This swanky shower is, mm. and what do you call it? It's an accessible shower, but there's another word for it. Yeah, it was seamless. Yeah, seamless. Then you just roll right in there, roll in shower. Um, yeah, and, and accessibility doesn't have to be institutional. Look at that, it's absolutely gorgeous. And Steve, you're a thoughtful man, and the reason oh. that you wanted to um, share the tile tips right now is you say there's like a window. <laughs> before Christmas mm. where you can actually yeah. get something like that done. Well, we just finished Halloween and uh, we're going to have a whole bunch of people in our house in a couple of months. So why not take a weekend, and that's all it should take, to do a tile job, to transform a room. Um, so when we have people in, you can be proud of that. And it, it, it just, you know, makes your home more inviting and uh, more fun to be in with yourself. Uh, did we have one more image? I think, I think got I, a couple, a couple, a couple yeah. more. So this so is just a, a tub surround. So again, just a different style. We, we showed the... Uh, the, the pointed subway tiles, so we've just turned them vertically. Again, another fun way to, to, to do it. Um, we've got the octagon, or sorry, hexagon, there's only six sides on that. <laughs> hexagon tile um, that is split down the middle. And you, it, the more you look at this, the different patterns that you'll see yeah. come out of it. It's really cool it's kind to of be Escher-esque. Yeah, and then just taking that uh, hexagon tile, um, meshing it in with you know the black, the white, the gray, um, and all the wet areas. So it comes from the front door to the kitchen, but then, yeah, tying it into the hardwood floor instead so of the transition. So you use the tile to create sort of a path and yeah. uh, an undulating kind of path that no, no straight lines in that place. No, there's not, and that's what's cool. And just a quick tip with the last slide there. Um, this is the same subway tile under four different lighting conditions. So when you go to pick your tile, ask for a sample. They will give you the samples. That's what I've got here. Take it home, put it under the lighting conditions that you're going to have it in, because that slide showed the same tile under four lighting conditions. So that may mean you choose a completely different color. Absolutely. It went from gray to, to a soft brown. Um, yeah, you really want to do that. Wonderful tips. Thank you so much, Steve. My Always great to have Steve Barkhouse in the house and uh, some great ideas. Do you know how many people will be tile shopping this weekend? I hope you so. You may cause a, a few disagreements <laughs> in some households, but I'm sure that a lot of people will have, you know, very happy results. Matt, maybe so. tiling this weekend?